Okay, now we're going to talk about measuring mass. Okay, mass is the amount of substance in an object. Okay, and we measure it in grams. Okay, and again, this is metric. In the English system, we use pounds or ounces, but in the metric system, we use grams. Grams is a small unit. 1,000 grams is equal to one kilogram. And just for reference, one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds, all right? So if you weigh 100 pounds, you would actually weigh a little less than 50 kilograms, just so you would know that, okay? We use a triple beam balance to measure mass, okay? So you put the object that you want to find the mass of on the pan. Okay, that's called the pan of the balance, All right? And but before you do that, you have to make sure that the balance is at zero on the scale, okay? And before you do that, you have to check these little uh, masses that are already on here called riders, okay? See, there's three riders and there's three beams, so that's why it's called a triple beam balance, okay? The little rider here is in grams from 0 to 10. The middle rider is the large one, okay, and it's in hundreds of grams. And you have to slide it and it's got little grooves to catch it, okay, so you have to put it right on one of the marks, so either 100 or you slide it over to 200 or you slide it over to 300 and make sure it stays there. or all the way over to 500 if you need to, okay? And then the black back one is in tens, and again, it's got little grooves. You have to make sure it's right on one of the numbers in the groove, okay? The only one that doesn't have grooves is the little gram one. It slides, okay? These are called riders, not sliders, even though they slide, okay? Because they ride along the, um, uh, the beams. All right, so we're gonna see if it's zeroed. And yours should be zeroed, but we'll check in just to make sure you, all the riders have to be on zero. And if they are, then the little mark over here should be right at the zero mark on the scale, and it is. If it is not, you can adjust it. There's a little screw on the end here that you can, you can adjust to make sure that it's right on zero. But this one is on zero, so we are not going to mess with it. And you see if you touch it, it kind of swings back and forth. But once it finishes swinging, all right, it should be right at zero. All right, we don't push on it hard, we don't slam it, but to set things on there easily. Okay? All right. That's a triple beam balance. To measure mass with a triple beam balance, you need an object that you're going to find the mass of. I have here uh, an old brake pad off of a car, okay, off of, off of a car's brakes. So you put whatever it is you're going to find the mass of gently on the pan. Again, you don't slam it down. Okay, and you see that it pushed the beams all the way up to the top. Okay, now you start with the hundreds rider, okay? And you slide the hundreds rider one notch at a time. So I'm first, I'm going to slide the hundreds rider over to 100, okay? And when I slide it over to 100, my balance is still all the way at the top of this scale over here. Okay, so I need to slide it over one more notch. Okay, uh-oh. When I slide it to 200, notice how the balance went all the way down. Okay, that's too far. That means this brake pad has a mass of less than 200 grams, so I need to go back to 100. Okay, so I'm going to slide that back over to the 100 mark. All right, once you've got the 100 set, now you need to set the tens, okay? So you slide the 10 over one notch to the 10. Make sure the arrow's pointing right at the 10. Okay, and when I slide it to 10, I'm still all the way to the top. See how that works? It's all the way at the top. All right, so now I need to slide it over one more notch to the 20s. And uh-oh, I'm too far because now it's going all the way down. All right, so 120 grams is too much. It has less mass than that, so I need to go back to the 10. All right, so now we know that it, weigh, it has a mass of at least 110 grams. What you do next is you use the small rider 
and you're going to move it over a little bit at a time until you get right to the zero on the balance, okay? The best way to do this is with a pencil. All right, so you're going to slide it over a little bit at a time, and each time you slide it, you have to look over here and see if you're getting close to zero. See, we're already over to like 6.5, and it's not there. So I'm going to slide it a little bit more. I'm at 7.5, and it's still not at zero, okay? So I'm going to keep sliding. Eight. Well, it's starting to dip down now, so we're getting close. So now you just kind of do like one little tenth of a gram at a time until you get right to zero. All right. Oops, that might be a little too far. Let's see. Uh, we're still, ooh, we're really close now, but look, when you let it bounce around, it still rides up a little bit above the zero, so I that means I need to go over a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to go right at nine. So this would be, and that's getting really close, isn't it? It's still just a tad bit above the zero, so I'm going to go just a little bit more. Let's put it right at 9.1 and see what we get. Now, now that's a little bit too much. Okay, so I'm going to go back to 9. All right. No, a little bit too much. See, it went right down below. It's almost there. It's really close. So I'm going to go down one more tenth. Okay. Now, that's almost there. Just a little bit more. Right at nine. I'm pretty sure that's it now. Okay. So how do we read this thing? Okay. It's 110 and 9. So how do we put that together? Okay, just a second okay. and I'll show you. So the hundreds writer was at 100, so we write down 100. Okay, the tens writer was at 10, so we wrote down 10. And the ones writer was at 9, so we wrote down 9. You add those all together and it's 119 grams. Okay, so let's go back over here and look at that one more time. The hundreds writer is at 100. The tens writer is right at 10, and the ones writer is right at 9. So that's 119 grams. Okay? If it was in between, if the ones writer was in between somewhere, it's just like when we were measuring with the ruler. Like right here, see, I measured it. It's two little marks to the right of 9, then this would be 9.2. So it would have been 119.2. But you see, that's not balanced. It was right at 9 on the ones writer. Okay, so that makes it, then when you let it bounce around, it'll be right at 0. You wait till it stops. And this one is 119 grams.